It's rare for royals to miss out on their family weddings, which tend to be big, public events. But there's a sad reason why Princess Anne was photographed without her sister-in-law on her big day. Hello and welcome to Royal Insider. If you're here for the first time, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss all our royal updates. When the Princess Royal, 72, married her second husband Vice Admiral Sir Timothy Lawrence, 67, on December 12, 1992, he opted for a very intimate ceremony. Among just 30 guests who attended the wedding were her immediate family, including her parents the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh, her grandmother the Queen Mother, children Zara Tyndall and Peter Phillips, and brothers Prince Edward and King Charles. The latter was not accompanied by his wife Princess Diana, who announced her divorce from the former prince just three days ago. Charles and Diana got married in 1981, but in 1992 they began to separate. After rumors of their marriage breaking up, Prime Minister John Mater confirmed their split in the House of Commons on December 9th, saying simply, it has been amicably reached and they will continue to be fully involved with their children. Anne's other brother, Prince Andrew, also divorced his wife Sarah Ferguson in the same year and was married to Captain Mark Phillips from 1973 to 1992, but in 1986, on board the Royal Yacht Britannia, she met Timothy, the former Chamberlain to her mother, Queen Elizabeth II. They formed a close friendship and exchanged personal letters which were stolen in 1989, the same year and announced her divorce from Mark. After a quiet engagement, Anne and Timothy fled to Scotland and joined the Crathia Kirk, as the Church of England does not allow remarriage after divorce. The royal bride looked stunning in an unconventionally cropped wedding dress teamed with a white jacket, while Zara wore a bright red coat and Peter paid tribute to the Scottish region in a suit.